Hi pottery peeps. So it is blistering hot outside. So I'm working inside. I've been working inside all week glazing and today though I thought I would show you what I'm doing with um, all the little bits of um, pottery that I make jewelry out of. So it's just too hot to do anything right now. So this will be a really quick video on um, how I make my jewelry pieces that I have for sale at um, shows and I also like <clears throat> if people spend a certain amount I let them pick you know they're kind of like my freebie my little extra my impulse buy um, so to speak so with these guys these are just the little eh, let me get them up here the little earrings and I just buy these like at Joann's they're just for little studs and I will show you how I'm going to do that so let me get you set up so you can see what I'm actually doing. Oh, also, I thought I would give an update on my husband since a lot of you guys have asked. He's still on the pick line, probably will be for another two, three weeks. Um, they're going to do an MRI this week. They think there's infection in the bone. So his toes still aren't um, out of the woods yet. Uh, right now, he still has them. <laughs> we'll see if that, hopefully, fingers crossed that uh, they can... Um, get that infection out and it's not in the bone. Anyway, so that's what's going on with him. <laughs> and then I will, oh, and what's going on with the totem? I'm getting to it. I, I'm basically doing a lot of test pieces uh, to kind of give me an idea. I'm not sure exactly how I want to glaze it, which is one of the reasons why it's taken me a little longer to kind of just have it brew in my subconscious and also try some different techniques out that um, I'll want to do on the totem. But I'm hoping to glaze that this week. We'll see. I'm getting caught up on a bunch of glazing since it's been too hot to be out in the studio. So let me get you set up. I've already glued these guys on and these are um, little things that I use for the necklaces. And so I'm going to, I've already kind of divided up what I'm doing with all these different things. So basically I'll pick the top of my piece that's going to get a necklace bit and I use the E6000 and I usually just squirt a little bit this is one of my plates I've donated to glue <laughs> and then um, to kind of keep it all off my fingers I kind of use a skewer and I'll just pick up a little bit of glue put on there pick where I want this to be and then let it set up. Sometimes I let it set up overnight. Sometimes I give it a good six, eight hours. It just, you know, sometimes it sets up faster, sometimes it doesn't. But I've never had anything with this glue fall off. So I will just be doing that with a bunch of these guys. Actually, where's my rag? I have a wet rag here so I can wipe the glue off. And then these ones, because these guys are earrings, and I'm going to attach them to each other, is what I'm doing. So they're both gonna get them. Make sure I got it going the way I want it to. So you'll be able to see how. I will attach these. And then after they dry, I will put a ring in them and then these little guys, these earrings are just getting the little round post because they'll just be little post earrings. So I'll put some glue on them and then just stick them in the middle. These ones are easy because <laughs> there's no follow up. You just put them on and they're done. They just need to dry. 
So there's a lot of fun little things you can do this way to like especially increase your sales at a show, little impulse buys. I mean, granted, um, you've got some cost in the hardware. I think the package for these guys, I don't remember how many was in the package, but it was like four or five dollars. And I'll link um, in the description where I get these guys. But I'll just make sure that they're down. And just let them dry. But it's um it's a good way to because your cost isn't I mean there's time in here of course, but material wise there's not a ton of cost in here. So it kind of offsets some of the stuff like my fairy houses that I spend a lot more time on that really can't get that time or you just can't sell them for what the amount of time you have in them and I really like to make them so having little bits of jewelry not only does it um, use up some of the transfer so I'm not wasting the transfer or wasting the cost of the transfer it's um gives me a little bit of fun money where my profit margin on the earrings is a lot higher you know, I can sell a set of earrings for, you know, $7. I can sell a necklace and a set of earrings for 25 People don't even blink because it's jewelry. And so that offsets some of the other projects I like to do that I can't actually put the price tag on them for what they're worth. And that glue, it's so hot, it's even hot in here with the air conditioning, the glue's already dried. So let's get some more out. I'll probably speed you up for this. I do have <clears throat> these two rings and I thought it would be fun to do a spider web ring and these ones are just super simple you just put the glue on here and then set the pottery where you want it Sometimes I have to come back, like I'll come back probably with the razor blade and clean up the glue that's on there. And then I'm just gonna set them here in between the sponge until they set up. And then now it's just a matter of letting them set up to dry. And then I will come back and uh, show you what I do next. It's later in the evening and these actually have finally dried. So I'm just gonna show you real quick how I put them together. Um, I get these jump rings and you can find these at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or Joann's any place that um, sells jewelry making and um, so I'll open up the jump ring making sure and we have pioneer day um, Monday and they're allowed to do fireworks so if you're hearing fireworks that's why somebody has decided to start lighting them off early even though it's only like seven o'clock so put 
put a jump ring there. Let's see. Actually, I don't want to do that. So, opening them up. So these ones will be little dangly earrings. And then I put that jump ring back together, squeeze it together. So then I've got that. I find it's easier to do it with two pliers. Hold on, I've got the wrong jump ring. Some of these, they're all mixed together in my boxes. Some of these are thicker than the others. And put that together. And then these are um, little earring thingies. And I could have put that on before I close that other jump ring, but I find that I always put them on backwards. And so I tend to just open them up and slip them on so that the earring will go on the right direction so it doesn't um, spin to the back. This is fiddly work. <laughs> but there, one's done. I'll do the others. And then I have these um, cards. And this is how I display them, or how I sell them. So I'll put them on here on the card. And then I've got the little backs, and I'll put the backs on. And um, I will link the description of where I got these cards, or link in the description where I got these cards, because they're actually quite nice. They even come with the little cellophane bag so you can cover them up if you want. So like if I did a necklace and earring set, I would display it this way. But I will do two, I'll do them to where I will do like a necklace and earring set, but then I will also just do the necklace and just do the earrings so people can pick and choose what they want to do. And then I just get these in bulk off of Amazon, so you can pick the length that you want. And I just string them up. Or like in the case of the spiders, I liked the black much better, or the black leather. But then put the necklace in there, and then I keep the little bag the necklace came in. I'll just put it back in the bag just to protect it, keep everything from getting all tangled. And then I have double-sided tape. And then I tape that bag down so it doesn't go anywhere. And then I've got that. And then if I want to, I can put it again like in that cellophane bag. So these are just a couple of different ways that you can display your things but like this one this is just a black leather cord it's a little longer too and these ones that I slip trailed they'll go for more money there's more work involved plus I think they're really wicked <laughs> anyway so that's basically how I do it um, the other thing that I do is um, I do a lot of posts posts are easy and so I sell um, the posts for the least expensive, I guess, because there's not a lot of work or a lot of cost involved. I'll put their little little backs on. There you go.
How cool is that? Anyway, <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed this, and um, I will actually um, get my daughter-in-law, who has the most lovely black hair, and have her put on a pair of these earrings and show you a picture of what they look like in action um, at the end of the video. And um, I will have a kiln opening on Tuesday. No, Monday. I'm firing tonight. So I will show that too. I've got a lot of fun things in there. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this. I know it's a little bit different, but um, more what you can do with your pottery. Um, so hopefully it was helpful for some of you guys out there. And um, I will see you in the next video and I hope you can get muddy and definitely stay out of the heat.